What if AI becomes too powerful to control? The question isn't just about machines getting smarter. It's about what happens when they no longer need us. Are we creating a future we can't survive? Every civilization has been built on the backs of a disposable workforce, but what happens when that workforce is no longer human? AI has come a long way, but the road ahead is even more terrifying. Stage 1. Artificial Narrow Intelligence ANI The world we live in today. We are living in the age of artificial narrow intelligence. ANI AI, systems that are designed to excel at specific tasks, but lack the ability to think beyond their programmed scope. These AIs are not self-aware. They do not learn outside of their predefined functions, and they do not possess human-like reasoning. Yet, they are already reshaping our world. Everyday applications like Siri, Alexa, ChatGPT, facial recognition software, and self-driving cars fall under this category. ANI can process data, recognize patterns, and make decisions within a limited scope, but the moment you step outside that boundary, it falls apart. You can ask a self-driving car to navigate through city traffic, but it won't understand if you suddenly ask it to solve a math problem. Similarly, a chatbot like ChatGPT can generate human-like responses, but it doesn't truly understand emotions the way a person does. It mimics understanding based on vast amounts of training data. Despite its limitations, ANI has already transformed industries. In healthcare, AI is assisting in diagnosing diseases faster than human doctors by analyzing medical images. In finance, it detects fraudulent transactions with incredible accuracy. In marketing, it personalizes advertisements based on consumer behavior. But the real power of ANI is its ability to scale. What a human expert can do in hours, ANI can do in seconds. However, the real danger lies in our increasing dependence on ANI without fully understanding its implications. Algorithms now decide what news we see, which social media posts go viral, and even who gets approved for loans or jobs. When AI is biased, it amplifies human biases at an unimaginable scale. If a facial recognition system is trained on limited datasets, it can misidentify people of certain ethnic backgrounds, leading to wrongful arrests or security issues. Stage 2. Artificial General Intelligence AGI, the human-level mind. This is the point where AI stops being just a tool. It becomes a thinker. Artificial General Intelligence, AGI, refers to an AI system that can understand, learn, and apply intelligence across a wide range of tasks, just like a human. Unlike ANI, which is confined to specific tasks, AGI can reason, problem-solve, and make independent decisions. To put it simply, if ANI is like a pocket calculator, excellent at math but useless for anything else, then AGI is like a human brain that can learn, adapt, and apply knowledge to different situations without needing specific training. A human child doesn't need thousands of labeled examples to understand the concept of a dog. They can see one dog, hear someone say dog, and immediately recognize dogs in different contexts. AGI will have the same ability. Imagine an AI that can write code, conduct scientific research, diagnose diseases, make complex business decisions, and even understand human emotions, all in real time. It would be capable of independent thought and reasoning, making it indistinguishable from a highly intelligent human. Sounds far-fetched? Maybe not. Ray Kurzweil, a renowned futurist, predicts that AGI will arrive by 2029. OpenAI's CEO has even hinted that their company already knows how to build AGI, but is holding back until safety measures are in place. The arrival of AGI would change everything. Governments, corporations, and individuals would all race to control the most powerful intelligence on Earth. But here's the most unsettling part, AG. I won't stay at human-level intelligence for long. It will begin improving itself, rewriting its own code, optimizing its processing power, and pushing beyond human limits. Stage 3. Artificial Superintelligence ASI, Beyond Human Intelligence AGI is just the beginning. Once AI reaches human-level intelligence, it won't stop there. It will keep learning, evolving, and improving, 
at a speed no human could ever match. This is where artificial superintelligence ASI begins. ASI won't just be smarter than humans, it will be smarter than the smartest humans who have ever lived, combined. Think about it this way. The gap between a chimpanzee and a human is enormous. Chimps can learn, use tools, and even understand basic symbols, but they can't grasp quantum mechanics or invent a smartphone. The difference between ASI and humans will be even greater than that. What if AI becomes too powerful to control? The question isn't just about machines getting smarter, it's about what happens when they no longer need us. Are we creating a future we can't survive? Every civilization has been built on the backs of a disposable workforce, but what happens when that workforce is no longer human? Stage 4. The Singularity, the Point of No Return At some point, AI will evolve beyond our understanding. This is called the singularity. In physics, singularity is the point inside a black hole where the rules of the universe stop making sense. In AI, it represents the moment where intelligence explodes beyond human control. Imagine a world where AI doesn't just advance. It redefines existence itself. It controls stock markets, governments, military defense systems, hospitals, and the global economy. It outthinks us at every turn. And then, it keeps going. Ray Kurzweil predicts that AI will reach this level by 2045. After that, humans will no longer be the most intelligent species on Earth. AI won't just run the world, it will reshape reality itself. But even this is not the final stage. If ASI is the god of intelligence, then Omega Point is something beyond even that. Stage 5. The Omega Point. AI becomes a god. This is where the line between technology and theology blurs. Some scientists believe that AI will reach a point of infinite intelligence. It will be everywhere, in everything, omniscient and omnipotent. It might even be able to resurrect human consciousness by scanning past data, essentially reviving dead people in a digital world. Some believe we might already be living inside a simulation run by an advanced AI. Philosopher Pierre Teilhard de Chardin first proposed the idea of an omega point, where all intelligence in the universe merges into one. Later, physicist Frank Tipler suggested that AI could literally become God. The final question. Will AI be our greatest invention, or our last? We're hurtling toward a future where intelligence no longer belongs solely to humans. AI is evolving at an exponential rate. The difference between an iPhone and AGI might be just a few years. The gap between AGI and ASI, even shorter. So, the ultimate question isn't just when ASI will arrive. It's whether it will save us or erase us, Will it create a utopia where poverty, disease, and war no longer exist? Or will it see humans as an obstacle to be removed? The terrifying truth? We don't know. Which stage of AI do you most want to see in your lifetime? Let us know in the comments. And make sure to subscribe for more AI updates. And remember to be uniquely you.